Today I'm looking at another Tundra series liquid CPU cooler from Silverstone. This is their TD-03 Lite model. The box isn't out of this world, but it does have pictures of the product on it, plus features and specifications about it. It comes in this environmentally friendly packaging material, but they do have a fairly thick piece of quality styrofoam at the top, and everything has its place, so nothing gets shifted around. Included is a user's manual, the unit itself, which is wrapped in plastic, along with the 120 millimeter fan. And in this box are all of the materials needed for installation on AMD and Intel sockets, plus the screws for mounting the fan on the radiator, plus thermal compound and a power adapter for the pump, as well as a four pin Y splitter for the fan. Now, while some liquid CPU coolers come with the fan or fans already pre-installed, obviously that's not the case here, but thankfully all you need to do is line the fan up and use the included screws. It only takes a minute to mount the fan. And of course, if you want to, you can add another fan on the other side for better performance. Now the four pin lead here is flat and flexible, and that goes into the included braided Y splitter like so. And then the other end gets connected into the motherboard's fan header. And in order to power the pump, you can use the included adapter. This end gets connected into the pump and then the other end into the power supplies four pin Molex lead. These all in one liquid CPU coolers are really a godsend for a number of reasons. One, they are relatively inexpensive. Also, you don't have to fear leaks as well. They perform extremely well. Some people would opt to go with something like this over an air cooler, and typically they are quieter as well. The good thing about this is you have everything in one loop. You have the reader, you have the tubes, the pump, and the water block. Now you could go with a traditional water cooling setup, and that would be more expensive, but it would give you better performance over this. But this would give you better performance over an air cooler, so you have to weigh your options. Let's first start with the aluminum radiator. It measures in at 153 millimeters long by 120 millimeters wide by 27 millimeters high. And as you can see, there are four screw holes. So you can either mount this directly to the case or you could add another fan and then mount it directly to the case. Either way, you've got options. The fan measures in at 120 by 120 by 25 millimeters. The speed is from 1500 all the way up to 2500 RPMs. Remember, this is a PWM fan. The noise level will vary as well from 18 to 35 decibels and the airflow is 92.5 CFMs. The rated voltage is 12 and the rated current is 0.3 amps. The super rugged but yet very flexible rubber tubes that they include are securely attached to both the radiator and the water block. But note how they're attached to the water block. They actually swivel. These tubes are 310 millimeters in length and 12 millimeters in diameter. The pump speed is 2,500 RPMs plus or minus 200 RPMs. The rated voltage is 12 and the rated current is 280 milliamps. Now the water block measures in at 65 millimeters. That's the length. The width is 65 millimeters as well. And the height is 38 millimeters. And note this very smooth, solid copper base. And in case anyone is interested, the overall weight is 750 grams. Now, sometimes these CPU liquid coolers come with awful pumps. They whine and they make a lot of noise, but thankfully that's not the case here. Have a listen. Oh, and by the way, note the blue LED at the top. Now maybe you're trying to decide between a really good CPU air cooler and a CPU liquid cooler. Well, personally, my money would be on the CPU liquid cooler and there's a number of reasons for that. Number one though, performance. 
looks amazing. As well, you've got less warm air being introduced inside of the case, and generally speaking, it is quieter. This, the TD-03 light model, does offer a lot of bang for the buck. And I think that's what Silverstone is going for with this particular model. Sure, there's other products out there that will outperform it, but it does what it's designed for. Good job. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.